Hey y'all, what's up? Heather with the Moss Co here, and today we're working on a project for the back porch. I mentioned in a couple videos ago that I was really excited about our back porch because I was finally gonna get to put a table on it. It's right off our kitchen. It'd be a great place to have an outdoor dining area. And so I've got some plans from AnnaWhite.com that I will post in the description below. I went at seven o'clock this morning to our local big box home improvement store and picked up a bunch of wood and I'm gonna unload it out of the truck measure it a little later today we're gonna go get um, a miter saw from my brother-in-law and get to working on our project for our table you're gonna help me measure the wood well okay Wait, that much wood no no way that much wood too much what do you mean too much too much wood so step one is going to be to get the wood out of the truck and onto the ground so that we can start measuring it. I was going to film a really cute montage of that. However, White is really interested in my camera when it's on top of a tripod. So, wood on the ground in three, two, one. Hey, Wyatt. Next time you throw all the wood out of the back of the truck, can you make a better pile? I need you to measure all that wood for me. Yeah. Mark all my cuts, okay? Don't think that's exactly how you should use a measuring tape. couple days or weeks since we started this project and in the meantime Jason has been kind enough to I measured all the boards out as you saw but then Jason went and cut them all for me and then brought them all up here I am going to assemble this on the back porch because this is where it's going to end up being and being as a solid wood it's probably going to be very heavy I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the plans that we're using of course you could draw up your own plans but if you haven't i really wanted to share with you the anna white it's a n a w h i t e website she has amazing easy to follow plans i am by no means a good woodworker or even a decent woodworker but she has amazing easy to use easy to follow plans for pretty much everything indoor furniture outdoor furniture um, farmhouse type stuff a lot of farmhouse beds with storage underneath them farmhouse tables and this one is called the beginner farmhouse table so I'm gonna grab my supplies and just get to working on it Our table all built and you guys I'm super happy with it I have a lot of pride and sense of accomplishment it's super sturdy it's beautiful and I love it 
So I'm really excited about it. The plants are super easy to follow. If you guys have not gotten on the Animal White website, which I will link down below, get on our website, spend some time, just waste an hour or two looking at all the things you could be building. These were super easy. These, the wood didn't cost me very, considerably speaking, very much. And if you think about what you would pay to buy a table somewhere that's not nearly as solid, and this is solid hardwood. So we still have the two benches. They make benches, um, plans for benches that go with this that I need to build as well. And then the next step is going to be to sand it down and to paint it green. I know some of you are thinking that is beautiful wood, please just stain it. But our house is a complete wood fest and I love it. Um, but it almost has like an orangish red tint to it. And I have a beautiful color of green that I'm gonna paint all of this to kind of offset that our trim is also green. So it's similar to that color, but I just think it's gonna contrast so well and be really beautiful, but I'm super happy with this table. So we need to sand it and we need to paint it. Another side note, one of the things that I did choose for this table, this wood is very rough and this is very rustic looking and it is called a farmhouse table. So, you know, then there's that but I also chose pressure treated lumber. And the reason for that is if you have never heard of them, because I had not before living in a log home, there is a animal or an insect, insect called a powder post beetle. Their ability to destroy wood structures is second to termites alone. And, or so says Google. And we've recently become aware of them, unfortunately. Um, but if you buy pressure treated lumber, you don't have the, run the risk of them infesting your wood. And then getting, when you have a, a wood home, water and wood boring insects are not your friends. So to protect against that, we use pressure, pressure treated lumber. So let's get this sanded and painted and get those benches built as well. Here she is, finished product. Super excited about this. Y'all, I've never built anything like woodworking, construction-y in my life. I've done a lot of like painting, things of that nature, but I've never built a piece of furniture myself, so I'm super, super proud of it. Generally speaking, um, manual labor-esque projects where there's a lot of lifting involved aren't my forte, so I was really excited to get out of my comfort zone. Again, this is a Anna White plan. I'll link it in the description below. But if you haven't checked out her website, it's really easy, um, really easy to follow tutorials and plans to make your own furniture out of wood. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. I love it. I love how the green contrasts with the orangish red of my house. So, y'all, isn't it going to be awesome when we can put a mum right here? Oh, y'all, I'm so ready for fall. If you can tell throughout this video, that my hair has changed several times. It's taken me a couple weeks. If you had the time and like no kids and you could sit down and just crank this out, it would really only be like a day, day and a half. Like your biggest thing would be dry time on your paint. Um, but unfortunately I don't have that. I have to kind of do it in between. And so it's taken me a little while, but this was a super easy to follow project. I'm very, very happy with the results y'all. I'm so ready for fall. Like it is everything I have to not be like, all right, y'all let's get in the car. Let's go get some mums, throw them in those pots out front. But anyhow, I hope you like this. I hope you guys try something like this. Comment below if you do. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.